Hey guys, um, good afternoon, I think. Actually, it's still morning here. I just wanted to get on really fast. I'm tired. I'm about to take a nap. I really need to sleep. But, and I'm not showing my face at the moment. I'm sorry, guys. But, uh, I'm just like, <laughs> not in the mood to really show my face. But, before I get into this word... It's just a quick little encouragement. I believe it's a quick encourage. Oh my God, I can't speak, Lord. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just want to... Let me just pray before I even get into this word. And I feel like I'm going to get emotional. But it's going to be a good emotional, not a bad emotional. So Father, I just thank you for this day that you have made i thank you for waking all of us up this morning we thank you for your mercies that are new every morning and the grace that is so much needed i ask lord that you please use me speak through me anything that you want me to speak about bring it back to my remembrance and let's block all of distractions in jesus name because the devil is only here to still kill and destroy but you came so that way we can have life more abundantly so having that been said i pray all of these things in jesus name um amen 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 I never really pray like that before I get on, but I was like, let me just pray before we get on because let me tell y'all guys, Satan is a liar. <laughs> he, of course, he's he's the liar, but he's been throwing all of these darts, and I know that it's not just at me. He is throwing so many darts, of course, at the body, at the whole body of Christ, um, and. I hope I'm not yelling. <laughs> I hope I'm not yelling. I pray I'm not yelling. But, um, man, the devil is busy. The devil is busy. The devil is busy. I haven't been on in a while. I've, like, literally, um, um, I would do words and then I would just delete them. I would do words and I would just, I was like, mm, this is not working. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you just feel... You know when it's time to get on and you know when it's time, you know, I don't feel the leading of the Holy Spirit sometimes when I'm like doing my words and I don't feel the words flowing out of me like smoothly. So I just end up deleting the, the videos, the words or whatever, but <sighs> I'm sweating guys and I don't want to turn my car on because I feel like it's going to be like really loud, but I just wanted to get on and talk about the distractions that... Um, <laughs> the enemy is throwing our ways. It can be so many distractions. And the whole point of him distracting us is to keep us from receiving what the Lord has for us. Whether it's the promise, whether it's um, a word that the Lord has given us. He's trying to snatch that word right out of us. Excuse me. And let me tell you, I've had nothing but distractions. I've, I've just talked to my spiritual mama. She had distractions. And I was telling her about my situation that's going on. I don't even want to call it home, but at the place that I was reciting at the, at the time, um, the devil is definitely using Alan as a whole distraction. Um, last night, let me just roll down my windows. Um, I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. It's not easy with this walk with the Lord. It's not easy whatsoever. I'm grateful to God that he did give me a place to lay my head. He gave me a place to shower, to change, to rest. I'm so grateful. And But last night, I feel like last night just kind of drew the line. And I know that God did not give... How do I say this? He did not... Um, He's not going to allow for me to just be stressed out and not have any rest and be going back and forth with, you know, with this man, with the lawn. Like, when he's sober-minded, it's great. Like, we're cool. But when he starts drinking, it's a whole nother story because it's the spirit behind him. It's that spirit, of, that spirit of alcoholism and the spirit of depression or whatever it is that he's fighting 
Um, so I always come back like talking about the word and he's always like, why are you here, Angie? I don't understand why you're here. Why did God bring you here? And he just off and off and off and off and off. And I'm like, I can't, I can't with you anymore. Like I can't keep explaining myself to you. Like, I feel like God's like telling me to stop explaining myself to you. And I can't explain myself to you. Um, I feel like he's so curious of what I talk about with other people and that's none of his business. I don't, I don't think that it's his business unless the Lord leads me to tell him. But sometimes I feel like the, not even the Lord, but the devil is like using that tactic to get insight of, oh, come on, Lord. Oh, he's using that tactic to get insight on what is being said with me and my sisters in Christ as far as the word of God, as far as promises, as far as whatever, because that's how Satan works. And so last night, like, um, um, Alon knew that I was on the phone with Miss Kim. Like he just, he knew that. And I went outside to the car, talked to her. Yesterday was a whole hot mess. I was not feeling well. I was cramping. I didn't even go to work because I could barely, I could not stand it. And I just stayed in bed the whole day. And I tried to get into my word. I tried to even talk to the Lord and I couldn't because I was just like in so much pain. But when I got on the phone with Miss Kim, and I went back to the hotel. He just saw like a whole new Angie. He was like, man, what did y'all talk about? Because you are like, you're a whole different person. Like you look refreshed. You look, your spirit looks just like enlightened. And that's what happens when you have sisters and brothers in Christ that you can come to and you can talk about the word and you can fill each other's cup up with the word of God. And so I was like, yeah, well, you know, that's the Lord. So... I felt like he was just really adamant about like, what did you talk about? What did you talk about? What did you talk about? And I was like, that's between me, Miss Kim and the Lord. I'm not going to sit here and tell you all of my business. It, we just went back and forth, like back and forth. And so I couldn't really sleep. Um, you know, I definitely, I ended up falling asleep eventually. Um, he ended up falling asleep at the table, like. And then eventually, like, he tried to come back. He, like, came onto the bed with me on the bed. But I was like, nah, Satan. So I laid on the floor. I let him sleep on the bed. I woke up early this morning. I have stuff to do. I'm trying to get my name changed. That's a whole nother story. Like, I, it didn't go as planned. So that's something that I really, really need to get done. Because that is something that the Lord has revealed to me. Like. I'm not that person anymore. I'm not a Herrera anymore. I'm a De Leon. I am a De Leon. I am a De Leon. I am a De Leon in Jesus name. I am no longer bound to my ex's last name. So, um, there has just been so much guys who it can be so many little things that the devil's going to throw our way to distract us from being in the presence of the Lord, being in the word, spreading the word, being a witness to Jesus. Um, I don't know what that looks like for you. You know what that looks like, but my distraction is Alon. He is a whole distraction, especially when he's drunk, you know, especially when he's drunk, he's coming at me saying, Oh my God, Lord, like saying the most ridiculous, most ridiculous things. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And like, we just kind of got into it. I was like, you know what? You should be thankful that you're alive. Like, thank God that you're alive. Like, he is the one who gave you breath this morning. Not anybody else. Like, who else do you think? Now, I'm just really going to be honest and blunt here what we talked about. But I was like, who do you think gave you breath this morning? <laughs> he was like, I don't know. I don't know, Angie. I was like, God gave you breath this morning. He created man and woman he created the heavens and the earth it says it in the bible who else created the heavens who created the earth who created everything i don't know i don't know and i was like god created everything like it says in the word of god i don't know the bible i don't believe in the bible that's fine dude you don't believe in the bible that's fine you have your beliefs i have my beliefs like i know what is true and so 
we were just like going back and forth. Actually, we got to a point to where like I kind of like started raising my voice. And then he was like, Angie, please, like, stop. Like, like we have neighbors. And, like, I was like, Lord. And I just kind of calmed myself down. I was just sitting there. And I'm just trying to be quiet. <laughs> trying to hold my tongue. Because, like, the things that he says. And I know it's not really him. It's a spirit behind him. And Satan is not. He cannot stand the fact that I am in the same household with someone who um, doesn't really know God for himself. He doesn't, I don't even know if he believes in God. Like, I really don't know what his belief is. But I was like, man, I really got fired up last night. And I was like, so many people scream, Lord, Lord, and they don't even know the Lord. You know, like he wears like a lot and I, Lord Jesus, if I am like judging this man, please forgive me because I don't mean to be judgmental. But like I said last night, I was like, you don't believe in God, but yet you say God, you don't believe in Jesus, but you say Jesus, you, you're wearing that cross around your neck. Why are you wearing the cross around your neck? And he was like, because my stepdad gave it to me because he believes in him. And I was like, okay, he believes in him but you're wearing the cross and you don't even believe in God yourself. Like it was a whole thing last night. It was just like, I was just coming back at him with the word guys. Like that's all I can do. That's all I can do. And I ended up going to sleep and I was like, Lord, I was praying for Alon and I'm like, God, like, I am not getting the sleep that I need to here. Yes, Lord, you gave me this place, but I'm not sleeping well. I'm not sleeping well, so I'm just, cont I'm in my car right now. I'm in my little parking lot that I came to to sleep. Um, but yeah, guys, that, that, I have been fighting with the enemy. <laughs> I have been fighting with the enemy, like, back and forth, and, um, I'm sorry I haven't really been on. Um, I have a whole ministry that I can't just forget about. There's so much more that I feel like I want to talk about. But I'm just letting God continue to give me more revelation. Because there's so much that he's just kind of been speaking about. Not just only on distractions. But about so many other things. And we have to just continue to seek God. Continue to stay in his word. All the distractions. Whether it's social media. Whether it's. Um, I don't know, um, shopping or it can come in so many ways, you know, instead of like scrolling through Facebook or Snapchat or whatever the case is, go to the word of God, look at a sermon for all, like a sermon, you know, listen to a podcast, something that's going to feed you the word, not feed you worldly things. And, um, Yeah. Yeah, the devil is busy. The devil is busy. The devil is busy. He's a whole liar. I can't stand him. I can't stand him. But who can stand him? I guess the people that are walking with him, they don't mind, you know. But the people that are walking in the light, the people that are walking with the Lord, we as Christians, as children of God, we cannot stand Satan himself. He's such a damn liar. Yes, I said damn because he makes me mad. But... I was trying to go to sleep. I was like trying to take me a little nap and I, and I couldn't. And I was like, okay, God, maybe you're just trying to keep me up so I can talk about something, get on my channel, talk about what's really on my heart. And this is what's really on my heart at the moment. Um, I did not realize that Alon was a whole distraction until my spiritual mama brought it to my attention. I did not realize that. And I was like, you are so right. Because... Oh, man, the devil is a liar. He is a whole liar. Oh, my God. I'm going to read. I just opened up to... Y'all, I have to read something from the Word every time I get off. There is this beautiful butterfly. <gasps> Come this way. What color is that butterfly? It's big and beautiful. It's going away. But it was beautiful. And... Um, 
sorry guys i'm just like all over the place now i'm just like looking at outside there was this huge butterfly that was just right here but um i'm just really walking this thing out and waiting on god um i don't know what he's doing and and we never know what he's doing. You know, that's another thing that me and Alana always talk about. Because he's like, you don't have a plan. He doesn't like the I don't have a plan. Like, we can't. Yes, we can have a plan. But. um, How do I say this? We walk according to God's plan. We walk according to what he has for our life. Not for what we have for our life. So, like. Alon, he has like this whole calendar planner thing, right? And I have one too. I, I can switch. Let me see if I look decent to switch the camera around. Hold on, guys. Because uh, I look like a hot mess. And I probably don't even match and I don't even care. But I think I'm going to switch the camera. Hey! Um, I have this whole calendar. 2022 planner, right? Um, I used it for work. I barely have anything written in it. I really don't. I don't have anything written in it. As you can tell, I don't. I really, really don't. And his is like, well, I have very little here. Very little here. But his is like full of nothing. Like nothing but like so many things. And he was like, he just came to me out of nowhere. He's like, look, look at my planner. I have all this stuff written in my planner. What do you have? Why do you have a planner? You don't have anything written in it because you're just waiting on God to do this and to do this. And I'm like, okay and I was like when you walk when you try to do life when you try to live life on your own without God it does not work out it doesn't work out it just always it doesn't work out but when you walk with the Lord everything's cool you can be going through the the most nastiest storm and you still have a peace about you you still have that joy you still have the fruits of the spirits so, yeah, he doesn't like the fact that I'm just letting God lead me. He, does, he doesn't like that. But that's just Satan. He can't stand that. But where was I going? I was going to read this scripture that I just opened up to. I'm sorry. I'm just like, I haven't been on in a minute. I pray that I, ha I should have the time to record this. Um, Oh, distractions, 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 distractions. And I've noticed that, like, sometimes... Well, I know that I wasn't feeling good yesterday. Like, whatsoever. But as I was, like, on YouTube, I would try to watch a word. And I'm like, I ain't gonna watch that right now. Like, I would just kind of back out. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna listen to that. But that's just Satan. When you... That's just Satan. Sometimes, yes, I'll get off of YouTube and I won't be on YouTube as much. But, like, I like to intake... Not everything, but I like to intake um, godly things. I like to intake, um, whether it's a sermon, whether it's a prophetic voice, or whatever the case. I be careful with the prophetic voices, though. I don't listen to all prophetic voices. But, um, man, guys, yesterday was just like, what? What? Like, I, I, I felt like, and I know I prayed about it. Like, I prayed to God about you know giving me a place to sleep and that's what I was trying to tell Alon because Alon's like why are you here I was like dude I made a prayer request and God gave it to me no he didn't no he didn't you're here because you're using me you're just using me that's all you're doing and I'm like I am not using you the guy told me to leave his apartment he told me to leave he straight up told me to leave I left I packed all of my things and I left and then he called, or I texted him, and then he ended up calling me, and he's like, Angie, where are you? He's like, please come back. Please come back. And he starts crying. He's like, I'm so worried about you. Like, just come back. And I ended up going back, and we just, why did I go back? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm like, God is not nowhere in, like, he is not the author of confusion. Like, he is not, he's a piece of um, peace of God. He is a king of kings and lord of lords. Like, I should have peace about this. But guys, the devil is, oh, the devil is, is very busy right now. Let me roll down the windows. 
so yeah, like I told alone, like I don't have time for games. I don't. I don't like. I don't have time to be going back and forth like you want me out and then you want me back and you want me out. Like I am not some toy you can just play with. I'm not a toy that you can just play with. And he thinks that I'm using him. I am not using him. I am there because the Lord provided for me a home, somewhere to stay, a shower, a bed. Um, I really barely even watch the TV because I just watch my phone. But um, there was something else I was going to say. What was I going to say? I don't remember. It'll come back to me. But anywho, I just opened up to Isaiah 44. And I'm going to read verses um, 11 through 13. Uh, and they read, I, yes, am the Lord. And there is no other Savior. For I predicted your rescue. Then I saved you and proclaimed it to the world. No foreign God has ever done this. You are witnesses that I am the only God, says the Lord. From eternity to eternity, I am God. No one can snatch anyone out of my hand. No one can do undo what I have done. Come on, Lord. I'm going to read that again. I, yes, am the Lord. And there is no other Savior. First, I predicted your rescue. Then I saved you and proclaimed it to the world. No foreign God, that's a lowercase g, has ever done this. You are witnesses that I am the only God, capital G, says the Lord. From eternity to eternity, I am God. No one can snatch anyone out of my hands. No one can undo what I have done. A freaking man. Sorry, Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Like, oh, man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Thank you, Jesus. This shit, they get it. This shit, they. I'm going to read Isaiah 44, uh, verse 1. We can. Mm, Lord. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, not sorry. I miss this. This is what I miss. I miss just being with me, with myself and the Lord, getting on my channel. Delivering a word, talking about the word to people who also understand what I am going through. They also understand the warfare. They understand the word of God. It makes sense to them because people who are in the world, people who don't have the Holy Spirit in them, it will not make sense to them. It doesn't make sense to Alon. Like nothing makes sense to him on, on what my journey is. Like nothing. But <sighs> I'm not the only one going through it. I'm not the only one that has distractions. And we have to just make sure that we keep God on the forefront of our minds. And wake up with him on our minds. And go to sleep with him. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, I have it in my notes. Do I have it in my notes? Mm. Give me one second, guys. That brought me some to something that um let me see if I wrote it down. 
I was watching a sermon a couple of, I think it was sometime last week and I took notes it's been a while since I've like literally sat down and watched a sermon and took notes and I took notes and that just brought uh let me see if I have it in here Maybe I have it written down in my Tony Evans Bible. I think that's where I have it written down at. Oh man, I really wanted to share it with you guys. It was talking about... He... Um... Oh guys, I have it written down. I lost even that thought, so maybe the Lord will bring it back to me. Okay, guys, back to where I was going to read. I'm going to read Isaiah 44, verses 1 through 5. Okay? But now listen to me, Jacob, my servant, Israel, my chosen one. The Lord who made you and helps you says, Do not be afraid, O Jacob, my servant. Replace that name, replace Jacob with your name. So I'm going to put my name in it. So I'm going to say, do not be afraid, O Angie, my servant. O dear Angie, my chosen one, I'm making it personal. For I will pour out water to quench your thirst and to irrigate your parched fields. And I will pour out my spirit on your descendants and my blessings on your children. They will thrive like watered grass, like willows on a river bank. Some will proudly claim, I belong to the Lord. Others will say, I am, a descend I am a descendant of Jacob. Some will write the Lord's name on their hands and will take the name of Israel to, as their own. Mm. Wow. I'm going to read Isaiah 44, 21 and 22. Pay attention, O Jacob, for you are my servant, O Israel. I, the Lord, made you, and I will not forget you. I have swept away your sins like a cloud. I have scattered your offenses like the morning mist. O return to me, for I have paid the price to set you free. God is calling so many people to him um that's a whole nother word um but I had to get on and share what was on my heart <sighs> sorry guys Sorry, not sorry. I'm going to read um, this love letter. And it's coming out of Isaiah 49.9. And it reads, I will say to the prisoners, come out in freedom. And to those in darkness, come into the light. They will be my sheep, grazing in green pastures and on hills that were previously bare. Beloved daughter,
Jesus is in the building, guys. Beloved daughter, I bring light into the darkness and release captives from sin. You don't have to worry about who you are not or remain paralyzed by what you've done. I will engrave my truth on your heart so deeply that it can't be stolen by the enemy. You can be confident in who I am. The God who breathes life into you, into what is dead, sorry. The strong God who can rebuild what is torn down. I can build, sorry, I'm gonna start over. God is saying to start over. Beloved daughter, I bring light into the darkness and release captives from sin. You don't have to worry about who you're not or remain paralyzed by what you've done. I will engrave my truth on your heart so deeply that it, can be, that it can't be stolen by the enemy. You can be confident in who I am, the God who breathes life into what is dead, the strong God who can rebuild what is torn down. I can build beautiful things out of ruins. You are my chosen child. I want to work in you and through you so others can see that you are my masterpiece and a reflection of my glory. Love, your Heavenly Father. <sighs> Guys, just take a moment with me right now in this moment. Close your eyes. And just thank the Lord for what he has done. For whatever it is he's brought you from, just thank him. Thank him in advance for what he's about to do. Just thank him. Thank you, Lord. Just praise him. Just take a moment to praise him. Thank him. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much you are so grateful for everything. For saving you. For loving you. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. You get all the honor, glory, and praise. Thank you, Jesus, for being the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings with the Prince of Peace. Mm. Oh, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. He's so good. What is that? What is that scripture? Holy Spirit. We have to get it. Is a shit thing. Taste and know that the good is the taste and see and know that the Lord is good. He is good. He is faithful. We have to remain steadfast. He's calling us higher. He's calling us higher and deeper. He's calling us deeper into relationship with him. He's calling so many into relationship from him that, that are so far from him. They want a relationship with him. But um, some people just don't want to surrender. They don't want to surrender their lives. They don't want to surrender. They don't want to let go. They don't want to let go of whoever it is, whatever that thing is that's holding you back from seeking God with your whole heart. I bind that in Jesus' name. God is a God that shall not lie, guys. He's a man that shall not lie. Just receive that. He is so good. He is for you. 
and not against you. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are in his image. You are made in God's image. He knows everything about you. He has formed you in your mother's womb. Um, man, God. I'm going to read this. I read this a couple days ago. And it brought me to tears just knowing that God is there every step of the way. And just know that he's there for you every step of the way. I started off this word with not showing my face to showing my face. Tired. Too refreshed. I'm just thankful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Man, guys. I pray that this is an encouraging word for you. I pray that you can feel, I can feel the Lord's presence. And I pray that you can feel the presence. I was watching a road yesterday in my car. And you can just tell she was in the presence of the Lord. You can just tell. I can tell by the sound of her voice. And I felt his presence as I was just listening to the word. That's how good God is. He is omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient. You can just feel his presence just like by delivering a word. Like it, he amazes me. He's so good. Let me get into this love letter and um, I need to get some rest. But yeah, it's called Fresh Start. And it says, the faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great in his faithfulness, his mercies begin afresh each morning. Lamentations 3, 22 to 23. Sorry, guys. Try to block off these noises beloved daughter I pour out my mercies and offer you a fresh start every morning I cover you with my grace every day receive my gift of a new beginning and rely on me to get through you to get through each day I watch over you as you sleep let me start over guys sorry beloved daughter I pour out my mercies and offer you a fresh start every morning. I cover you with my grace every day. Receive my gift of a new beginning and rely on me to get you through each day. I watch over you as you sleep and I am there in the morning to greet you with my love. Don't live one more day looking back with regret or looking forward with fear. Remember that I am your good father who walks with you wherever you go and seeks after you whenever you get lost. Love, your Heavenly Father. The reflection reads, Nothing feels better than waking up refreshed after a good night's sleep. God wants us to wake up every morning knowing that He has covered what happened yesterday and holds in His hands what will happen today. If, he really trust, if we really trust the Lord, we will embrace the fresh start He extends to us each day. And choose to live in the freedom a fresh start offers. Treasure of truth. Embrace each day as if it's your first. And live it as if it's your last. Oh 
Yeah, guys. <sighs> Y'all are probably watching this. Some of you. And maybe asking what is wrong with this girl why is she not saying anything why is she just silent and why is she just quiet and just smiling because the, the god god the lord he's with me in this very moment and i feel like it's been a minute since I felt his, like, presence over me, with me. He's with us, yes, every single day, but you can just feel his presence. It's, it's like a, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. But yeah, I had to get on and, and share what was on my heart. I know I was probably all over the place. Um... Let's block those distractions. I guess that's just Satan trying to... That, that's what he's here for. Still to kill and destroy. But Jesus came. What is that scripture? But Jesus came so that we may have life. And life more abundantly. I think I paraphrased that. And um, I want to say that's in the book of Matthew. Oh God, come on, John ten ten, Angie, get it, get it, get it together. John ten ten, guys. I don't know what I was thinking in the book of Matthew. John ten ten. Let me read it. Oh my God, how did I even like? I just totally. I just had a whole moment right there. These purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. This is coming out of the, um, what version is this? NLT version of the Bible. I'm going to see if there's like, I love this Bible that my sister gave me, the Thrive Bible. I love these love letters. And I bet there's like other Bibles that have love letters like this. Because it's like legit God speaks through these love letters. I just, I love it because it's like so personal and you just feel like um God just speaks straight to you but I'm going to read this love letter and then I'm getting off of here beloved daughter I came to give you life in, in its fullness yes there is suffering in the world but I have overcome the world and we have given you the power to do the same pain can oh pain can only overtake you if you're uh, handling it <sighs> give me one second guys I have coffee in this water bottle of course the car is in a park over here by me I'm starting over beloved daughter I came to give you life in all of its fullness yes there is suffering in the world but I can overcome the world Lord Jesus. But I have overcome the world and have given you the power to do the same. Pain can only overtake you if you're handling your heart without my Holy Spirit as your comforter. There is nothing that I've given you that can be stolen unless you give it up or give it away. There is an enemy of your soul, but what I have placed inside you is stronger and greater than the enemy. You will have to make the choice to guard yourself. Spend time with me, and I will open up your eyes to see the war around you. I will give you the wisdom to win every battle. Love, your Heavenly Father. The reflection reads, When what you're doing or feeling is stealing your joy or killing your confidence or destroying your dreams, do not blame God. Come to God. Ask Him to show you what you're doing and who you're listening to that may be causing you to take a detour from the amazing life he sacrificed his son for you to have. The treasure of truth reads, The God who lives within you is greater than the enemy who comes against you. 
Yes. Um, I pray that this word really blesses you guys. I know it's been a minute since I've showed my face, since I've got on my on my channel. Um, but I feel like the Holy Spirit wouldn't let me sleep until I was able to share what was on my heart and what I was going through. Because that's what I do. Um, Y'all have seen me through the, the thick and the thin on this channel. Y'all have seen me go through it all. And, um... Yeah. <sighs> Goodness gracious. Um, I pray that you are doing well. Um, let's, um, yeah. There's a song that just came to mind. It's called Victory. And it says, um, what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it around for our good. And he will, in Jesus' name. He will. So, I'm going to get up off here. Don't mind my face. I'm having some breakouts. But um, I think they're clearing up. And, um, yeah. I can stay on here probably a little bit longer. But it's already 1130. And I really need to get some rest. Like, I really need to get some rest. And, um, it's such a pretty day out here. Maybe go for a walk or something. I should probably go to the gym. That's what I really need to do. But yeah, guys, let's, um, you know, every day that goes by, I'm like, Lord, what am I doing with myself? Like, I need to be working out. I need to be eating better and yeah like I have my little snacks I have my little brownie 90 I think it's like 90 calories or something like that I have my um turkey and my pork rinds which are zero carbs I have my low carb bread um got me my coffee and my creamer my water um to eat and then my yogurts my keto yogurt so I need to eat better I do miss working out. I feel like I just don't have the energy to work out anymore. Like how I used to be. Man, I miss who I used to be as far as working out. Um, I was such a beast. I was such a beast. I was such a beast. I'll get back to it. But it's going on 50 minutes. Wow, I didn't expect to get on. I thought I was going to like get out here and just speak for maybe 15 minutes but um that's what I'm talking about like the words I have been trying to release they were not like this like I would I can't even explain it they weren't Holy Spirit led they were not Holy Spirit led and I like when the Lord leads I like when the Holy Spirit leads and he's with me, you know, it just, it flows way better versus like just on here and just talking out of my mouth and like not making any sense. I don't know, but God was definitely with me and, um, yeah. Anywho guys, let your girl get some rest. I hope again, you are doing well. I pray this blesses you. Do not give up. Block all those distractions in Jesus' name. I don't know what those distractions look like to you. Whether you're maybe you're on, you know, um, social media too much. Maybe you are on. Um, let's just say whatever you're putting above the Lord, that's your distraction. Let's just put it that way. So remove that distraction and seek God more. Get into his word, worship him, praise him, um, spend time with him. Whatever that looks like for you guys. What does that say? 403? I read Isaiah 43. I was in Isaiah 44. Hold on, guys. 
Hold them up, guys. I think I got another word for you. Let's see what God is saying here. I was just in Isaiah 44. Isaiah 43 is so long, Jesus. Yeah, I read it earlier just to you guys. I did. I'm going to read Isaiah 43, 1 through 10, and then I'm, I'm getting off here. Like, seriously, <laughs> getting off here. Um, guys, this is like, this is, this is Holy Spirit led. This is not me at all. I should have been off here a long time ago, but I'm just like going with the flow. Um, so Isaiah 43, the subtitle says the savior of Israel. I remember when I first read this passage, it just brought me to tears. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you says, do not be afraid for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt as a ransom for your freedom. I gave Ethiopia and Saba in your place. Others were given in exchange for you. I traded their lives for yours because you are precious to me. You are honored and I love you. I'm going to read that again. Others were given in exchange for you. I traded their lives for yours because you are precious to me. You are honored and I love you. God is speaking to you. That's God telling you you are precious to him and he loves you and you are honored do not be afraid for I am with you I will gather you and your children from east and west I will say to the north and south bring my sons and daughters back to Israel from the distant corners of the earth bring all who claim me as their God for I am made them for I have made them for my glory it was it was I who created them. Bring out the people who have eyes but are blind, who have ears but are deaf. Gather the nations together. Assemble the peoples of the world. Which of their idols has ever foretold such things? Which can predict what will happen tomorrow? Where are the witnesses of such predictions? Who can verify that they spoke the truth? But you are my witnesses, O Israel says the Lord, you are my servant. Lord. Oh, guys, you think get it in these shades, you did it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, we're reading this love letter. And then I'm off. At least I think I'm off. I don't know. This is this is all the Lord. This is none of me. Okay. Isaiah 43:2. This love letter is coming out of Isaiah 43 too. Beloved daughter, I am real and I am with you. When you're in the fire and feel like the flames are burning up, everything's, everything you've worked for, I am there. When you feel overwhelmed and are drowning in despair, disappointment, or discouragement, I am with you. The enemy of your soul has created illusions of hopelessness to get you to doubt that I am in control. By faith, remember that I am God, not an illusion. I will come to your rescue when you call to me. 
when you're in a panic, lean on me. Trust me because I am the only one who can preserve your life. You won't always understand what I am doing, but you're out of the fire. You will see what I've saved you from. Love, your Heavenly Father. I'm going to read that one more time. Beloved daughter, I am real and I am with you. When you're in the fire and feel like the flames are burning up, everything you worked for, I am there. When you feel dis when you feel overwhelmed and are drowning in despair, disappointment, or discouragement, I am with you. The enemy of your soul has created illusions of hopelessness to get you to doubt that I am in control. By faith, remember that I am God, not an illusion. I will come to your rescue when you call to me. When you're in a panic, lean on me. Trust me because I am the only one who can preserve your life. You won't always understand what I am doing, but once you're out of the fire, you will see what I saved you from. Love, your Heavenly Father. Reflection reads, when you're in deep waters of great trouble and you feel like you're about to drown, call out to the only one who can save you. God truly is your lifeguard. He will indeed rescue you. Treasure of truth. How we feel doesn't change the fact that God is real. Don't you just love God? We don't always know the full picture walking with God and you know to people we look crazy because it's by faith that we're walking not by sight like the world walks by sight the children of God the body of Christ we walk simply by faith ready to go to sleep now um wow guys I was expecting just 15 minutes and I'm going on an hour but uh the Lord had a lot to say and he definitely spoke so those love letters that I was reading just take them for yourself you know God is speaking to you through those letters um It's time to go to bed. It's time to go to bed and um, keep holding on. We have to keep holding on, guys. God's got promises that will come to pass. Um, we just have to stay steadfast. Steadfast and people don't like Elon doesn't understand like why God would let me stay in my car why God would allow me to stay in my car and really it's just to humble me and to see if I'm going to continue to praise and worship and walk with him even living out of my car and I have done just that I have done just that There's so much. <sighs> There's so much, man. That's gonna have to wait for another time. There's so much I could talk about. Um, but I'm gonna wait. <laughs> um, I need to get some sleep. Anyways, I love you guys. 
God loves y'all so much more. I know I was like all over the place in this word and like I feel like my voice was like shifting but that's just the Holy Spirit speaking. I felt the Lord's presence as I was you know as I continued to let him lead and um, the times of quietness and the times of just me sitting still it's just me enjoying him embracing the moment with him that's what that is uh, it's happening again but I need to get up off here I love you guys God loves y'all so much more and to continue to seek the things of God um, the enemy is going to try so hard to distract us and take us off of the path that the Lord has us on but with the Holy Spirit living on the inside of us, we can get through it. We will get through it in Jesus' name. Um, the Holy Spirit is our friend. He is our comforter. He is our guide. He is our teacher. Um, let's let's be f like not be like we are already. We are already friends with Him. But let's acknowledge Him everywhere we go. Everywhere we go, whatever we're doing, you know, um, he has feelings. He has feelings too. So, um, don't grieve the Holy Spirit, guys. Be careful what you're watching. We, oh, man. You have to guard your ear gates and your eye gates I've said this before your eyes are his eyes your ears are his ears your body is not your own it is his body whatever you're watching he is watching whatever you're listening to he is listening to is it pleasing him or is it grieving him someone needs to hear that yeah sit with God sit with God the Holy Spirit is just the most amazing person ever like God yes Jesus yes like they all are amazing but isn't it amazing that we can just walk this earth with the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead in us he can just lead us guide us talk to us like teach us secret things he's amazing so, yes, uh, an hour and two minutes, mm -hmm. get it, girl. I feel way better. I'm so glad. I just felt like I needed to talk to my spiritual mama, and um, I couldn't sleep, so I just felt like the Lord was like, okay, it's time, and I did it. Um, I love you guys. Have a blessed, uh, what is today, Friday? Is it Friday? Yeah. Have a blessed weekend. Be safe stay away from the enemy <laughs> well it's kind of hard to stay away from him but let's resist him resist him and he will flee and let's stay armored up man that's something I haven't prayed over myself in a long time let's start praying Ephesians ooh is it Ephesians 6 5 through 20 I might have that wrong I believe it's Ephesians 5 6 through 20 I might have that wrong you can look it up for yourself. It talks about the armor of God. But I think that's what it is. And I pray that over me and over whoever watches this um, word. I pray that over you as well. Because uh, we are victorious, guys. We are the chosen ones. And Satan is not liking what we are doing out here. He does not like the fact that we are proclaiming the name of Jesus. Who is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings and he is coming back one day to rescue his church we have to be prepared because we don't know when the Lord's coming back he could come back tomorrow for all we know and have you done what you're supposed to have done have you testified to the goodness of God have you proclaimed the name of Jesus to others have you shared your faith with others Will God tell you when you get to the gates of heaven? What does he say, Lord? What do you say, Lord? Good job, my um, good and faithful servant. Will he tell you that? Or will he say, 
Get away from me. I never knew you. I'm going to leave y'all with that. <laughs> the Lord had a lot to say, apparently. <laughs> but I'm getting off here. I'm getting off here. This was all God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for meeting me where I was at. God always meets us where we're at, in the middle of everything. He's not waiting for you to be perfect. He is not waiting for you to be perfect. We are never going to be perfect until the day that we get to heaven. But he is not waiting for you to get your life together. He is not waiting for you to um, stop doing those drugs and stop drinking. No, he wants you to meet him messed up, broke. What is that thing that my sister be saying? She be saying, someone else says it too. Broke, um, what did she say, Lord? Broke, busted, and disgusted. He wants you like that. He wants to um, deliver you from those things. Come to him all jacked up and everything. And you will see the work of the Holy Spirit. You will see the work of the Holy Spirit in you. Like, you will see it, guys. If, if he did it for me, he can do it for you. If he did it for me, he can do it for you. So don't wait to get cleaned up from the drugs from the drinking from the sexual immorality like god will straight up deliver you from those things it might not be instantaneously but it will happen um partying with god is just like the best the best i don't know where i would be without the lord i really really don't this is going to be a long word the lord is just speaking but um guys without God we we did okay like I could have died I should have died so many times that's gonna have to wait that's gonna be a whole nother word there's something that the Lord is like leading me to talk about and it's gonna come I think I'm still getting more like clarity and revelation on that but yeah guys don't wait Oh, come on. Dang, Lord, there, there's so much I want to say. Um, That's going to have to wait, though, because there are so many people that are in and out, in and out, praising God one day, going to color the next day, praising God one day, going and drink the next day, praising God the one day and the same day, going to drinking and smoking and sexing and whatever. That's a whole nother word. <laughs> whole nother word. I love you guys. God loves you so much more. Your girl has been on this video for a whole hour and almost eight minutes. And um, I need to get some sleep. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But yeah, I love you guys. <laughs>